Welcome back, everyone. New episode. This is Boxing Day special, I think. I think. Oops. Do not run into posts. Uh, there we go. Okay, we the cows need a lot of food. A lot of food. Uh, we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this on this production here. We do have a good store of it, uh, but I have a feeling we could deplete it real quick if we're not careful. So. We're just going to do this cycle a few times. I've got some equipment I'm not using right now. I think we need to have a sale at some point. And our BGA is um, keeping up with it. Uh, we've got manure and slurry that needs to go in there. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. We've got our two... two um, Seed drills working right now in the, in the big field that we just harvested. We're putting in some barley over there. And we've got our sprayer out and starting the first of three fields that need to be sprayed with herbicide. So we're off. Off to the races now. There's probably a lot of other stuff that needs to be done. Let's go this way. Uh, probably a lot of other stuff that needs to get done. But. One thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. Good news is that this thing loads... Loads the trailer very fast. Makes it extra awesome. We'll check in on our productions in a minute. I just want to get a couple of loads in here. And then we'll have to check on our silage situation we probably need to um, deliver some of that keep it keep the TMR production running well, we do that right now as a matter of fact I'm literally recording this on Christmas Day believe it or not I thought I would be able to get ahead of it uh, so that I could relax during the holidays but uh, no it's been so busy so busy. Okay, uh, TMR. I am out of silage. So yeah, that's that's urgent now. Uh, so if we go into... Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Uh, I've got 92,000, so that's pretty good. Got a lot of hay, though. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Olive oil production is underway. Okay, so I don't know how that cow fits through the fence. Kind of strange. Okay, so let's pick up, let us pick up some, um, some silage. We've got grass, field, uh, fields of grass to mow. Lots of them. But I'm feeling good about our hay situation. Uh, does this fill up here? Or does it fill up on the side? Hang on, I'm confused. Why are there two nozzles? Um, what do I want? I want this. What am I filling up here? Silage. Okay. I don't know why there's a pipe out there. That's confusing. Maybe that's where I get the hay out of. Silage here. Hay over there. Yeah, maybe. Makes sense. So this needs to go right, right across the road here. Road. Not a road. Just in the yard. This does not fill up nearly as fast, though, does it? Let's jump around, have a look. We'll tab through all the vehicles. I need to pick up honey, too. There's a bunch of it. Uh, there we go. There's one. This is the left side. The right is coming around, doing its... Uh, still doing up, working on its headland. Okay. Going well. This guy's doing okay. I had to, uh, in order to get this to work, I don't know if you remember, we tried to start it last episode. Or did we? I might have done it off camera. Wow, that's wasting. Um, uh, the longest edge feature would not work for some reason on this field. I don't know why. I am considering changing this out. 
uh, to get. I know it's it's the fastest one, it's the biggest one, uh, but I want a little bit more control. And smaller sometimes is better. So this is, I think this is 36 meters. Uh, I want to say if I can get something in the 28 to 30 meters, that one might be a lot better. So we'll see. We'll have a look around. The money's still piling up, so we're doing well. Uh, when we get to July, we're going to be selling all of our soybean. And that's going to be a, a, a good chunk of money. And we get to November, we're going to be selling a silly amount of eggs. Like a really ridiculous amount of eggs. We're going to be really rich. Very rich. I think once we do that, we'll buy the rest of the map. We'll just buy it. The whole thing. Whether we build on it or not, we'll just buy it. The whole map belonged to us. All your, all your map belonged to us. Who knows that reference? Not exactly the reference, but yeah. Okay. I'm just going to dump this off here, get this going. I think we'll try to do two loads. Well, there's not quite two loads worth in there. We'll grab everything we have and bring it over. Wait, this production doesn't slow down. I hope you guys had a nice Christmas. I assume some of you don't don't maybe celebrate it. Um, that's fine. That's cool. Um, we celebrate it here in my my family. My wife's kids are all over. Um, they're all downstairs right now, hanging out, preparing the Christmas feast. We've got a huge feast. I don't know. I, we we had a huge feast last night as well. Um, typically what we do here is, uh, Christmas Eve, uh, dinner is, uh, just stuff like, uh, charcuterie stuff and, um, you know, cheese, meats, uh, hors d'oeuvres, stuff like that. And it's kind of a, it's a more of a snacking dinner. Uh, you just grab some of your stuff and get a little bit more later, get a bit more later throughout the evening. Some beverages of all kinds and uh, and then we get very sleepy because um, we eat so much we rest we have a good breakfast in the morning open up some presents and uh, okay so that's that um, sorry sorry I'll pick up my Christmas tradition in a second all right so let's pick up some more TMR I just want to knock out a bit of this. This loads up real fast. Um, yeah, for Christmas, uh, so we have a good breakfast for Christmas, open up presents, and then lunch, there's really, we don't really prepare lunch. It's kind of like uh, a bit more snacking. If somebody's hungry, they grab some leftovers from, from last night. And, uh, and then uh, we get going on preparing the Christmas feast. It's not always the same, but this year we're having a turkey and, and a ham and some tortier, which is um, kind of a tradition on my side of the family. I, I'm of uh, French-Canadian um, heritage, although I am uh, more Anglo than I am French-Canadian these days, but um, yeah, so we have tortier, which is basically a a meat pie kind of thing uh, for those who don't know and all the fixings the mashed potatoes and the veggies and the salads and the or cheese and more you know blah 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 we eat way too much way too much and then we repent and we get on the treadmill uh, we were <laughs> we repent for our, our meal sins we have committed um, then we get on the treadmills and uh, uh, the diets and all that. Yeah, standard yearly cycle.
All right, one. Well, that's it. This is it. This is it. We'll get on to some other stuff now. In my family, then the French Canadian, um, and a tradition, I guess. Um, we used to, when I was a kid, anyway. I mean, I think a lot of things have changed. When I was a kid, oh, somebody's finished. Um, we used to have um, Christmas Eve was the big, big deal. Christmas Day was the recovery day. Uh, but we used to have uh, Christmas Eve dinner of some kind, um, light, somewhat light, and then we had a feast at midnight. Uh, we would um, we would go to church uh, for for midnight mass, and then we would come home and um, open up presents. Uh, you know, the families were really big. Uh, lots of, you know, my father's family is, uh, he has 12 siblings and a few more on my mother's side. So, yeah. Lots of kids. Lots of kids. The house would be full. Inevitably, there would always be one kid that got sick because they ate too much. Uh, if not two, if not three. And it was always fun. <laughs> All right, uh, what are we doing next? I'm just babbling away here. I think I've had too much coffee maybe today. Uh, somebody has finished their work. Let's go find them. These guys are going to be at it for quite a while still. That's okay. Uh, this guy's finished. Now he's got two more fields to do. So, did I do this? Swap this out now. Yeah, why don't we do that? Add a little variety and change and things. So I think I want to get... I know this is kind of silly because this is really big and it's um, fast than the whole deal. But um, I want maybe two smaller ones instead of one big one. I think that gives us more flexibility. Now I'm going to back up here and unload. I don't know where they're going to go. Okay, perfect. This thing's expensive too, so we can probably buy two for the price of one and get more than 36 feet wide, you know? Okay. Alright. This episode may contain repaint 10,000. Um, 411, let's sell it. Well, let's pick something out. There may be some noise in the background. I apologize for that. We have a lot of people over here and my office door is closed, but um, yeah, anyways. Uh, okay, where am I? Ah, let's look, see if there's anything on sale. No, there isn't. So let's get, I do want, you know, self uh, control vehicles. We had one of these, I think. Uh, 42, okay, so this is 9,000, right? 9,000 liters. Um, this is, you know, almost half of that. 45, this exactly half. And, uh, we looked at some other stuff in here. This one's interesting, 6,000. This one's a bit bigger. It's 36 meters. How big is this one? Oh, this one's 48. 36. Uh, it does only operate at 12 kilometers an hour, as opposed to this guy that operates at 25. This guy operates at 25, a bit less, uh, 36 meters. That's still kind of big. And I want to look at this for a second. Case combo. What can I get with this? Um, so this is a liquid system. 5,300 liters. Uh, and that's 40 meters. That's still a bit too big. This looks good. Uh, this looks like a good kit, but I think I want to go smaller. So maybe another time. I think I'm going to go with this guy. I'm probably going to buy two of them. Let's get two of these. I know I started with one of these, uh, and then I sold it. Okay. That's going to give us more flexibility. I can do two fields right now. One on each field. In the end, I think it actually ends up being fast, uh, you know, faster for us to take care of things. 
we'll grab up whatever's left in here. I think this is actually my favorite sprayer in the, in the game right now. Okay, we're full. Let's get this working on one field and then we'll get the other one working on the other field. One field is the... I'll get this bigger one started. One is the uh, the sugar beet field. It's a bit smaller, but nonetheless. The nice thing about this one is it does the, do the 25 kilometers an hour as well. But that part won't be slower, it's just the width. Set up a course, uh, one headland. Yeah, let's see how that goes. That should work. Okay, off you go. I hope there's enough in here to do the fields. I hope so. Uh, I guess I got in the wrong one. I got to tab through everything again. Oops, I did it. There we go. For the sake of speed, I'm going to fill this one up up here. Uh, it's probably more expensive, but I just want to get it done real quick. Ugh, there are only 20 liters left. Uh, I have to open that. There we go. Right beside. How much is that going to cost me? Ooh. Yeah, not cheap. All right, up we go. Sugar beet field. And then we'll get both of these working on the big field. We'll get them working together. After we're finished drilling it, of course. Nice thing is this one moves quite quickly um, on the roads as well. Now that I've kind of figured out the multi-instrument, uh, multi-vehicle part of course play, uh, I think it makes sense to go with small, smaller. All right. First waypoint, no course, one, go. Here we go. We got these sprayed up. All right. What's next? I have to get my little trailer. I gotta pick up the honey. We got lots, lots of honey. Where is it? There it is. It is now 6:25 in the p.m. As soon as we're finished with those fields, uh, where you're going to rest, and then we're gonna move on move on to the next next round that's going to be our big soy soybean sale well, I'm, I'm curious to see how much we're going to make on that i've considered moving this uh loading um honey loading zone Moving it, putting it somewhere where I don't have that shed in the way. There we go. Off the music. Which way are we going? Where am I going? Apparently I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I got a bunch of these to pick up. This thing has started again. Oh, good. Took it all. All right. Shall we pick all these up?
Okay, I think that's it. I assume my egg situation is going to get out of control again real soon. Let's check. Let me drop these off. We're just going to check and see what's what's on deck. What are we going to be selling soon? Oh, we've got grape juice too. I don't think I've sold any of that yet, have I? I, I might have. I forget. Okay, let's go pick up the grape. Grape juice, I should say. I'm trying to be precise here. Come okay, on. Gotta be more, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Our massive inventory. We do have a lot of stuff in here. Um, our sorghum. Uh, so I'm just referring to the chickens now. Uh, we've got still about four, almost 400,000 liters of feed for the chicken, so we're good for a little bit. Uh, barley, uh, 17,000, not too much. Olives, uh, we've got a lot in here that we could actually bring over to the uh, um, oil mill. This is going to be our big sale item. So peak selling price is going, to, it's going down. Why is it going down? Uh-oh. Should I sell now? Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I need to sell right now. The, the peak is, max price is $37.11. Uh, right, but we're, right, we're above that right now, and it's going down. Okay, I think we need to get selling this. So that should bring in, um, you know, almost 13, 13, 1.3 million. Uh, this is the big guy, though. Um, we are... November is the peak. We're only in May and June right now. So by then, we should have maybe another... 100, 150,000 more. We should be over 2 million in egg sales alone. <laughs> Let's see if we hit that. Uh, beyond that, we've got some other stuff in here. Cereal, uh, not that much right now. I think we just sold a whole bunch of it. Olive oil, we really don't have much. Uh, it will sell at the pizzeria. And then we've got uh, some grape juice. Uh, February, we just, did we miss that? Oh, well. Um, strawberries. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here, guys. Crazy amounts of stuff. Pig food still. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so right now, June, so chocolate, but we need the chocolate, so we won't sell that. Olive oil, we don't have much. And olives. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I think the writing's on the wall. Guess what we got to do, guys? Oh. Oh. How are we going to do this? This guy's done. Let's clean up this stuff. All sprayed up. I'm just gonna drive this guy over to the other field that's gonna be needed very soon. Actually, we need to top up as well, don't we? Okay, so let's get these two off the fields. The other one's almost almost finished. We'll get them both topped up and ready for the big field as soon as we're finished uh, putting in the, uh, uh, the seed. And then we're gonna go sell we're going to go sell all our soybean. That's going to be a little repetitive, so I'll probably jump cut part of that. Uh, I forgot to check where. Where's the best soy, soybean sales? 
If we're lucky, it's going to be right at the co-op here. If not, farm shops. I mean, nothing is really that far, so it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to run over here. Oh, I forgot to top up these things. We'll have to get to that at some point. What did I buy? Why did I buy two? I'm a little confused now. We have solid fertilizer and seed. Okay, yeah, fine. I can buy seed here, though. So, yeah, I don't even know why. I don't even know why I put the silos in, to be honest. I should just put a couple of those little cell point things. Easy peasy. See how much cheaper that was? The shop is, is not a good deal. Let's get my truck. It's not quite... There we go. Alright, soybean sales. Let's go. Given the size of the farm, I'm very tempted to cheat a little and get a an unrealistic trailer, but... I'm holding off. Really the only unrealistic equipment that we've used... Um, so far on this series has been the uh, the, the quicky quick bailer. There we go. 342. That is going to be. Uh oh, somebody ran out of glass. Oh, it's one of the seed drills. This one. I assume the other one should run out pretty darn soon as well. See, there's still some fertilizer in there. Yeah, you guys are going to get some noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know what they're doing downstairs. Um, seed. Let's start here. I'm just going to fill up here, guys. Okay, and then in the back. There we go. Well, that's going. I'm going to. Uh, where is it? Where's the trigger? There it is. Refill silo. Uh, this one is seed, so it's going to cost a bundle. That's okay. Actually, should I get rid of this one? Oh, what am I doing? I'm kind of doing two different things at the same time here. Um, yeah, let's just use it. Okay, so that's full of seed. And then this guy here is fertilizer. Oh, that's quite a bit more expensive. Okay. Now, I hope these work for loading up. All right, let's go get our fertilizer. And I fill up. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good. How are you guys doing today? I don't know if I asked. Sometimes I forget whether I've asked you. 
It's pretty close. Look how close they are. We'll do the other one real quick now that we have a plan. And then we'll go sell some soybean. And right about here. Um, nearest sounds good. Okay. Next. I've already paid for this uh, seed. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. Oh my goodness. I have so much seed and the other thing. I need to just transfer it. I shouldn't have bought it. Why did I buy it? Guys, you gotta tell me when I'm about to do something stupid like that. Ugh. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's idiotic. And it's really not that much further. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. It should be way out there somewhere. This is like almost right next door. Oh, but yeah, there's something in the way right now, so... That's why I did it. That's my logic. Okay, so let's get... We won't use that thing. Um, let's load this up with seed. Okay. And then more seed. Went too far. And close that up. And then we'll get some fertilizer. Awesome. These work okay. Those are good. If I find a liquid one, liquid tank. I had, that's what I was having problems with, and that's why I put down that, that little cell point thing. I assume just by looking at this field that we should have enough to finish. here and nearest right there we go okay all right so where am i going with soybean soybean best price is at the co-op nice just up the just over there and i think i have to back up into that thing so that's a bit of a pain but that's okay Maybe if I go real close to it. And there's certain things that go in certain... I have to line up with the proper prop. Let's have a look. Where are we? Second one. Is this going to work? Nope. I got to back up right into it. Oh joy. Under the lawn and everything. There we go. I think I could trigger that by going beside it, but whatever. Alright, let's get some money. This will be some pretty good money. Let me get the rest sold. I'll rejoin you guys in a minute on when we sell the last one. So it's 217 per per trailer. Make good money. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Let me just do this mini loads. All right, it is 7.37 in the evening, and I just heard the werewolf. Um, this should be our last load here. 
So let's give that a go. At 52. We've done five loads so far to 17, so that was close to uh, a million. Um, yeah, over a million. Nice profits, very nice profits here. Now I just realized that the eggs are coming out so fast that I can't actually go to bed tonight without without um, emptying the eggs or else they're going to be full and there won't be room and I don't want to minimize the amount of eggs that we're going to have. I also got thinking after all this carting um, of soybean that uh, the carting of the eggs is going to be ridiculous. So I'm starting to think about breaking, well they're not rules, I never said I wouldn't do it but um, but maybe getting some unrealistic trailers, both uh, for grain stuff, but also for uh, pallets. I don't know actually if there are any for pallets. Oops, I really went deep in there, didn't I? Okay, the neat thing is the field right next to us here is also soybean. Uh, I think it's ready. That's it for now. I think this is ready. Yeah, this is ready next month, so we'll have a, a sale in July as well. I don't know what the price is going to be like. It said it was going down, but also suggested that July was the peak for soybean, so I have a feeling that it's a bit of a gamble. I'm not sure, quite sure which way it's going to go. Um... Where are we going to put this guy? It's starting to get dark. The shadows are getting long. It's the time of the long shadows. In the camping world, which is something that I do a lot of during the summer, um, when the shadows get really long, you can start seeing the light um, on the trees. From a, from a flat angle, you know, so you get the whole tree is lit up this way from the sun. Um, that's on the horizon. Uh, we call that the golden hour. So, okay. Uh, eggs, egg rotation. The, um, the drills are not done yet. So let's, let's pick up all these eggs. It's a, this is like an everyday chore now. See, we're almost, I don't want to say we're full, um, but we're getting there. We would be full in the morning for sure. Okay, that's one trailer. That's actually the good time to pick them up. I can pick up, I can do two buildings in one, one go. I wait a little bit longer, then I end up not being able to pick up two buildings in, in one go. I have to uh, either manually stack them on top, which in which case it does some really weird stuff sometimes, or, um, or come back. Uh, everybody over here. There we go. Perfect, actually. Okay, let's go this way. I haven't checked their feed. I hope they have enough for overnight. I'll need to check that as well. These chickens are something else now. 20,000 chickens. I wonder if I'll ever overfill this warehouse. Okay. Not as many here for some reason. I don't know why. 
Oops. Yeah, I don't know why that is. I think they're both at 5,000. I emptied them at the same time last time. That's weird. Hopefully I haven't run out of food. That chore is done. Let's have a look at the feed to make sure we're going to have enough for tonight. I prefer to fill them in the morning, but if I have to, I'll do it tonight. We still have a bit of time. The drills are still not done. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Okay. i uh, just curious, actually. How many eggs do we have now? 368. 1.5 million pizzeria interesting uh yeah how much eggs in pizzeria really really need right um okay chickens chickens where are they so they are low so i think i gotta do this tonight Jeez. okay okay it's fine it's fine need a tractor of some kind this guy's done let's do that When we buy more land, uh, there's going to be a big field over there. Just over there, out in the open over there. But, yeah, keeping up with this stuff is no joke. We won't start these sprayers tonight. We'll do that in the morning. This field here is ready to do the mow, as well as the other one around up around the corner. Let's just get these guys ready for the morning so we can get them going right away. Don't know how much they're going to need to um, um, refill. It's a pretty big field, right? I'm guessing once each. Okay, tandem. You're twins. Okay. And I left this one running. Turn them both off. These guys are almost done. Uh, I need a tractor. This one. Uh, is this a good tractor? Get rid of this. Eh, doesn't turn very well. The only one I have, no. I have to buy a new tractor. I'm going to do that soon. I mean, this turns well, but it doesn't seem to... Turn well with trailers for some reason. I'm not quite sure what the uh, what the physics of that are. But if you try to turn, see it does this. It gets stuck. I think articulated what might be better for this task at hand. All right, let's get sorghum loaded up. This is going to take a little bit, actually. Um, sorghum is this way, maybe? No, this way. There we go. Let's fill that up. Alrighty. First load. A 
lights are on, maybe it would be a good time to go check our Christmas tree. Uh, why are you, why are you causing me problems? There we go. Since they're not empty, I might be able to do three in one go. Not sure. Nah, I don't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not appropriate. And I'm going to turn here. Get stuck. Turning too sharp. All right, let's load this guy up. That's definitely going to be it. One of the seed drills is done. The other one is not done yet. Shouldn't be much longer. And there we go. We're just going to let them rest out on the field. I'm tired. Christmas tree isn't lit up. I think I'm going to change that tree. There we go. Change the tree while we're waiting. There's a couple of different trees. Uh, this one is not lit up, so I'm gonna sell that one, and then we're gonna put in a better one. There's one that lights up. I used it for the uh, screenshot. I think it's this one. No, it's not that one. It is this one. That's the one. There we go. Much better. Oops. Okay, all the chickens are fed, we've got all picked up all the eggs, our field is finished, being drilled, we've got some of the spraying done, got our new lit up Christmas tree. It's, it's time to rest, time to rest. I gotta try to turn here, can I do it? Yes, I can. All right. Okay, guys. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to call this an episode, actually. Uh, it'll be a little bit shorter than it usually is on No Man's Land, but I am doing this with guests over, and I've got a lot of other stuff to tend to. Got a tree. All kinds of nice gifts. Are these actually collectibles? I do not. Come on. Collect. No. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh. Um, all right. Merry Christmas again. 
Um, happy Boxing Day. And uh, yeah, we're heading to 2024 real soon. Real soon. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. And uh, more importantly, I hope you guys have an awesome day.